So you can see this little flap right there and right here. That would be, if this was a beef, that would be the skirt steak. So you can see how uh, different in size. It's the heart there. Um, so what we're going to do to separate this loin section is we're going to cut between the last and second last rib. So we're going to come back and feel <coughs> the last rib is right here. All right. The same on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and come on in. And I'm coming and I'm cutting the closest to that last rib on the inside rib side. Meet our cuts. Come in and grab the old cleaver. And I felt once I got through the bone, I went ahead and stopped because I knew I was going to need to come back with a knife and continue to cut. All right, this looks really, really nice. These little small lamb chops uh, look really tasty. Um, yeah, you can see we still we got we got a little bit of fat in there, not too much, but it's not it doesn't look that tough either. And then we have this little kind of uh, circle of meat right here at the top. So I mean, it's not that much, but I call that the triangle of goodness right there. <laughs> this is always like my favorite last bite. You know, you got the little lamb chops or pork chops, eat the loin out, and then you got this little area. It really soaks up all that flavor um, for how you're cooking it, you know, the pan or the grill or just roasting in a broiler. Um, so, yeah, this is really, it's really good. So, come back to this. All right, so now we're back in our saddle on our one leg. So, in our saddle, we have some more of that. Uh, hard fat, and this hard, you got a lot of hard fat down here in this area as well, protecting the tenderloin and the kidneys and the liver that's all down here. And it's, it's like it's an insulator for the weather and um, to protect the organs. Uh, so we have our tenderloin comes up, two bullet tenderloins come up right here and go into the leg. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and just remove this saddle fully. Straight through. Uh, and if I wanted to take off the tenderloins, I would take them off at this point before cutting through. But we're going to turn this section into like some porterhouse pieces. So since we're going to go ahead and do that, there's no sense of pulling that off because we would have to. We would cut it off, and we wouldn't. We wouldn't be able to do the porterhouses because the tenderloin would be gone. And lamb tenderloin is pretty small, but uh, very tasty.